Shahrukh Khan is unconvincing as Pathan. There is no part which makes you go like, yeah, Shahrukh. Salman Khan fans were born without a brain. To be a Salman Khan fan, you have to be born without a brain. One day, Hindi movie star Shahrukh Khan called producer Aditya Chopra of Yashraj Films and said, Dude, Amal made Ghajni. Salman keeps making these brainless action films and they become huge hits. I too want to beat up some bad guys. And they got Siddharth Anand and told him, Dude, now you're the director and you have to make Shah Rukh look cool and macho. Then they called Dipika Padukone, who did not ask to hear the story or to see the script because it's a Shah Rukh Khan film. People were going to lap it up no matter what. Then they decided to get a good villain. Good villain as in an actor who's good at playing a bad guy. And they called John Abraham. I'll tell you why in some time. So Pathan has Shah Rukh Khan playing a patriotic dude. He's a spy, but he's a patriot. This is to make us Indians happy. Shah Rukh Khan loves our country. He's ready to fight and die for the nation. But there's no need to spy on John Abraham because he's doing everything openly. He's threatening India. He's telling the Indian agencies what he's going to do. And Dipika Padukone is an ex-ISI agent. She's a Pakistani, but she's on Shah Rukh Khan's side, which means she's on India's side. She's on our side. So India cannot complain about a Pakistani character in the movie. India cannot complain. Pakistan be khush. Then they got in John Abraham. He made sure that it wasn't a Hindu guy or a Muslim guy because they obviously were not going to show a Hindu character. They could not show a Hindu character plotting to destroy India and they could not even show a Muslim character doing that. So they got John Abraham in and named him Jim. Yeah. Since Pathan is the first Shah Rukh Khan movie in four years, they decided not to make the audience wait too long. And the movie begins with a fight scene in which Shah Rukh Khan beats up a whole lot of bad guys all by himself. And the audience is very happy that oh, Shah Rukh Khan is a hero. Shah Rukh Khan is Rambo, he is Batman, he is Spider-Man, he is James Bond and throughout the film it's Shah Rukh Khan and Deepika Padukone beating the shit out of all the bad guys except in one scene in which Shah Rukh Khan is helped by Salman Khan we we'll get to that in a bit nobody who acted in Pathan asked to hear the story or see the script because it's a Shah Rukh Khan film they were only too happy to be a part of it so they gave John Abraham's character a backstory to show us why he hates India, why he wants to destroy India, why he wants to kill Indians. Everybody in Pathan except Shah Rukh Khan, Dupika Padukone and John Abraham is just being very awkward throughout the film. And it becomes even more awkward when they are given lines in English. <laughs> it does sound funny when they speak English. You are given absolutely no reason to like Pathan except that is Shah Rukh Khan playing Pathan and so you must love him. It's an overconfident film. The music is terrible. I don't know why they have songs in the movie. Not that I expected anything from Vishal Shekhar. <laughs> Shah Rukh is unconvincing as Pathan. There is no part which makes you go like, yeah, Shah Rukh. Dipika does her thing. John Abraham is very comfortable playing this character. He's enjoying himself. He's at ease throughout the film. Cool bad guy. Finally, we have Salman Khan in a laughable, ridiculous cameo, mouthing some really bad lines. Even the five minutes that he's in, Salman Khan is as stiff and lazy as he has been for the past many years. He talks as if he's hungover. It's another dumb action sequence with bad VFX. So you know why they got Salman Khan in? Because a lot of Salman Khan fans, all Salman Khan fans, hate Shah Rukh Khan. Salman Khan fans were born without a brain. To be a Salman Khan fan, you have to be born without a brain. So they got Salman Khan in, showing that Tiger is helping Pathan. Which means that Shah Rukh Khan will have a guest appearance in the next 
Tiger movie. Shah Rukh fans are already happy to have this movie. And Salman fans cannot call this a shit film because Bhai is in it. And the global public will be very happy to hear Shah Rukh say that a soldier doesn't ask what his country can do for him. He asks what he can do for his country. People will think that it's an original line and what a great thing to say about your country. But it's a stolen line. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Was said by JFK, John F. Kennedy. I hope they don't make a sequel. Because <laughs> I just hope they don't. I'm going with 2.5 out of 5 stars for Sadat Anand's Pathan. It's Shahrukh Khan's Pathan. <laughs> but yeah.